city of Busa consists of a great number of groups or clusters of parts, all within a short distance of each other. Bounded on one side by the river Niger and on the other by an extensive turreted wall. This was how the Landers described it in 1830. Over a century later, Busa was still a cluster of parts, a landscape relieved by the flat top buildings of the Hermes Palace until the Kainji Dam project came into being. Industrial development thrived best where there is a cheap and steady source of energy. And in 1957, preliminary examination of the Niger's hydroelectric potential to meet Nigeria's increasing demand for electricity began. And so in 1964, a site was selected at Kainji, 65 miles upstream of Jeba and 31 miles from Busa. The site of Nigeria's most ambitious project had been known for centuries. The Landers describing it said, in most places the water was extremely shallow, but in others it was deep enough to float a frigate. It looked very much like an artificial canal. The Scottish explorer Mungo Pack died close by, trying to discover the true potential of the Niger. beginning of change. The contract was awarded to Impregillo, an Italian combined. The rock to serve throughout the construction for the building of two access roads linking the site with Wawa, almost 17 miles away, and Makwa, 53 miles to the east. For the airstream, a new addition to the fast changing Borgu landscape. For the dam, which has been described as the cornerstone of the country's economy. The diversion of the two river channels and the construction of copper dams to permit the building of the main concrete dam foundations on dry river bed. It involved the construction of temporary bridges over the right channel, including a Bailey Bridge 600 feet long. Six weeks after, the project took off officially with a launching ceremony by the then Prime Minister, Alaji Sir Abubakar Kafawa Balewa. A colorful gathering of dignitaries from far and wide. An array of foreign and local journalists come to record a most promising project in a young nation's life. What Sarabubaka predicted was going to make for greater unity in the country. of the gigantic construction work began. More than 15,000 people were involved and the peak labor force between December 1965 and February 1966 was about 5,200 Nigerians and nearly 800 expatriates. Concrete gravity dam nearly 1,500 feet long and 236 feet high. Two rock fail dams acting as extension to the main dam. 
at secondary F dam, 43 feet high and over 13,000 long, and a powerhouse to house the generating unit. the dewatering of the closed river channel. And then the excavation for the dam and powerhouse. for the size of plants, villages, workshops, and office buildings. Nine miles from the site, the construction camp for the housing of junior and senior personnel was going on. began on the building of the concrete dam. The concrete manufacture on the site was made from special low heat cement imported from Norway. into which are to be incorporated the pen stop. number reinforced with steel and strengthened with cement, each 28 feet in diameter. in yards of cement for the concrete dam, 18,000 tons of reinforcing steel and 5,600 tons of steel structure. The concrete mixture was poured from mobile sailors into huge buckets, 10 tons in capacity, traveling on suspended area cableways 
and discharging their loads on this part required by means of radio control. as a safety valve, the other structures reaching up and changing the skyline, the genesis of a miracle, the testimony to an African nation's development of its resources since the time of Mungo Park, since it became the custodian of its own fortune. Structure grew mightier, taking the shape set out by its architect. The sailway is designed to pass surplus water from the reservoir under controlled conditions. The final design of which was passed through only after exhaustive tests on a model abroad. Its steel gate failed to be fixed into place. By July 1960, two years after construction work began, an area which saw little development for centuries had taken a new look. The Awuru Rapids, which for centuries had prevented navigation on the Niger, and on which Mungo Park's exploration adventure founded, was bypassed by one of the several locks on the lake and a canal which now makes navigation possible to the coastal ports of Wari, Safele, Koko, and Burutu. new villages and towns spread over to Emirates provided improved resettlement sites for nearly 50,000 people displaced from the dam site. In a greater possibilities than before, each enjoying facilities that come with a nation program. A new life for the people, a source of pride for their natural ruler, the Emir of Borgu, whose ascension coincided with a new era. Thank <laughs> you.